Hello, welcome to 10 for Tech, where we take up to 10 minutes to dive into bite-sized portions of technology. And on today, we want to show you four ways to whiteboard in your virtual class. Now, if you're in a classroom with a new webcam, uh, turning the webcam to the whiteboard, trying to capture what you're writing may not be the best option. So we want to show you four other possibilities that you can use digital tools to best display your content. Number one, by prepping ahead, you can use Google Docs or Office 365 and preload the content there. So this can be shared locally to your students in the classroom on the projector screen, or it could be shared using your video conferencing tube like WebEx or Zoom or whatever you desire. So both parties can see the computer screen at the same time. Here in this class, the instructor will be talking about the cost curves. So here they already have a picture of the cost curve and the content already prepped in this Word document in Office 365. Number two, you can use a new app in Office 365 called Microsoft Whiteboard. So if you log into Office 365 and select all apps, you can find Microsoft Whiteboard here. Now Microsoft Whiteboard is a collaborative app so you can even create new whiteboards on the fly and invite your students to join in on the whiteboard session simply by going to the top right corner and clicking on share, invite by email, or you can create a sharing link that you can place in your Canvas course or wherever you desire. So check this out. This is a whiteboard that we're sharing together with Ms. Marquita and I'm drawing a cost curve here. And she's going to come in on this whiteboard and add some content as well. Now, Microsoft Whiteboard, there's a couple of different ways to get it. So if you're on a guest computer or you're working in a classroom computer where it's not installed, you could just log into Office 365 and use the cloud version. Now, the cloud version is a tad more scaled down and you only have the pen options and the eraser. If you are using your own laptop or computer, you can download and install Microsoft Whiteboard and get a lot more options and tools available. Go to the Microsoft Store that's built within your computer or search on Google and download for free the Microsoft Whiteboard app. Now, if you're using it on your tablet or your mobile device, you can go to the App Store and download that app for free. If you're on a university issued computer, you can simply go to your search bar and type in Software Center. Bring up Software Center and you can search for Microsoft Whiteboard and bam, there it is available for installation. Number three. If you are a Mac user and you have an iPhone or iPad, you can use your iPad or iPhone directly within WebEx and use a free whiteboard app or the Microsoft whiteboard app to display your whiteboard content within your WebEx session. All this is done by connecting the iPad or iPhone to your Mac computer using your lightning cable. To show you how to do this, Marquita Patterson is gonna come in and demo this for us. Under the share option button, you can now choose the share iPhone or iPad to display content from your iOS device connected. Of course, first you will have to have already downloaded your favorite whiteboard app from the App Store if you're planning to use it as a whiteboard. Once you connect your device to your computer via the lightning adapter, you will be prompted to allow your phone to trust the computer in order to display your iPhone or iPad screen. You must select trust on your device in order to display content. Once connected, you should see your iOS device screen. Then simply start annotating or sharing desired content. Thanks Marquita. And number four, join and share your whiteboard from a second device. Use a second computer, a second tablet to log into your existing session. 
bring up a whiteboard app or the Microsoft whiteboard app again on that device, share from that device in your main session. And everyone in your session will be able to see your whiteboard and what you're annotating. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to the help desk and we'll get you the help that you need. Thanks for joining us. And remember, it's really not that hard.